All right, guys, so today we're getting ready for this lab. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for all your feedback, parents. I did have a couple people that requested that I be in a few more of the videos so the kids could see me doing the actual experiment, so just my hands and stuff. So I'm uh, doing this one face to face. Um, don't worry, I won't do these very often because I know it's kind of scary to look at me all the time. So, um, so today we're doing a lab that's uh, based on some information that your kids got uh, this afternoon about uh, New York City Public Works Department in New York uh, discovered a new species of some kind of insect. Um, they called it sewer lice. Um, they're trying to figure out its locomotor uh, skills, like how it moves, because it doesn't seem to have any legs or feelers or anything that can make it move. But somehow it's moving all the same. So our job is to try to test it out, see if there's something in the water that's causing it to happen. So uh, I have in front of me my materials. As you can see, I have a cup of water. I have a cup of Sprite that I'll be using. I have some raisins, which simulate what the, uh, what the actual sewer lice looked like yesterday. The kids saw an example of that. I, of course, have my trusty paper towel because we are using liquids. And as you can already see on the table, I've already got some water spots. So we'll be cleaning those up afterwards. And I also have my three page lab report. Now, uh, the lab report, right now, kids, you should have a pen or pencil with you and a lab report, because we're gonna go through it and we're gonna write some of the things in right now before you come back to school tomorrow. That way we can do the entire experiment in class and then try to do our claims and evidence before we leave during the day, okay? So we'll start with page one. All right, right at the top it says, uh, the big idea is observing, performing and communicating. Parents, if you're watching this with your child, uh, you can pause here and ask them what that means. We've been talking about that for the last four weeks, so hopefully they can help you, uh, help you with that information about what scientists, all scientists do. The title is lab, uh, lab number three, sewer lice, right here. Our focus question for today is, what will happen if we place a raisin in Sprite and a raisin in water? So that's why we've got both of them here. Oh, my name tag fell off. See, this is real life, guys, no editing. All right, we're gonna gather some information. So here's what I want you guys to think about. When I'm done with this, pause it, talk about it with mom or dad, whoever, and, um, or just come up with your own stuff. What do you already know about water, about Sprite, okay? Now, when we write the information, we want stuff that's actually gonna help us with this lab. So we wanna know, like, maybe look at the difference between the two and describe what you know or what you notice about these two uh, liquids. And then, uh, you know, write some things that you might know about raisins. Like, you know, what, what was a raisin before it was a, a raisin, you know, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna write anything this, for this one, but I need you right now to come up with at least three things. One thing about raisins, one thing about water, and one thing about Sprite. If you, uh, I have five dots on there, so if you want to, go ahead and give me some extra things. We'll talk about them tomorrow probably in class. The next thing is the hypothesis. And as you learned today in class, you learned um, how to write a, a hypothesis. So this is your first chance to test it out. Remember, I'm not collecting this, okay? Uh, but what I may do is I may ask you to rewrite your hypothesis at the end of the lab so that I can collect it for an actual grade. So right now, you're just gonna test yourself out. I think if blank, okay, what are we gonna do? Okay, then this will happen. And why do you think of, because of what? Okay, so you're gonna test that out, write those things in as well. You can pause here, that way you can write it all in. The next step is the procedure. Now this one I'm actually gonna help you with, okay? I'm not gonna leave you in the dust for this one. So as you see, I have materials, I have three materials. Um, what do you think the first material is going to be? I feel like Dora right now giving you pause. It's gonna be raisins, raisins. So let's write in raisins. Okay. Number two, the second material is gonna be water and the third material is Sprite 
Now, as you, I told you in the last lab, guys, whenever we're using liquid, it's going to just be a given that we have some paper towels in the room. We don't need to write it down as a material because it's not actually going to help us with the experiment. It's just gonna clean up afterwards for us. Okay, now that I'm on, done with that page, you should have everything written in up here. I've got my materials. Then we move to our steps page, page number two, okay? The first step, okay, is going to be to place three raisins, place three raisins in the cup of water. Okay, so I'm gonna take three of my raisins and I'm gonna place them in there. Now I'm not gonna actually do it because I want this to all come out as a surprise for you, but I would place them in there. Now when I say place, what does that mean? Does that mean just go bloop, bloop, like I'm playing basketball? No, it means to place them. So I'm gonna get really close to the water with it and I'm going to drop it in, okay? So it floats down to the bottom or floats on top or does whatever it's supposed to do. Maybe it's gonna dance and do a little song and dance for you. Okay, make sure you put a period at the end of that sentence. Place three raisins in the cup of water. Number two, I am going to observe what happens. Observe what happens. Now, if you think nothing happens, wait for 30 seconds or so, okay, and observe it. Really get some detail out of it. Tell me what is going on, what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna add to that. Observe what happens. Wait 30 seconds, okay? Step number three. Record your observations in the table, okay? So step three. Record your observations in the table. This is your table right here. Collect data and make observations. Today it's really easy. There's no numbers, nothing like that. Today you have to draw a picture of what you see happening. Now when you draw that picture, I want it detailed. So right here, step three, you will be drawing. I'll show you in a second what I kind of want, you, want it to look like. Number four <clears throat> is to repeat steps one through three with the sprite. Repeat steps one through three with the sprite. Okay, so you're gonna do this one, you're gonna make your observations, then you're gonna be done with that and you're gonna move on to this one. Now my observations, I want you to get detailed here, guys. Okay, I want you to take some time. Okay, you gotta draw the cup the way the cup looks. <coughs> Excuse me. You gotta draw the water level, where the water is. Then you gotta draw your little raisins in there. Now when I draw a raisin, I'm gonna show it over here on the side, kind of big. Okay, see, raisins are kind of lumpy. They're not circles, they're not ovals, they're kind of lumpy. And that's not even a raisin, that kind of looks like a heart, actually, if you think about it. Okay, you gotta give it some wrinkles, okay? Give it some wrinkles, like that, okay? If you see bubbles, okay, obviously, then I need to see some bubbles in your, in your, uh, in your Sprite. So see, this is water, this is Sprite. Right away, there's some differences. I need to draw some bubbles in there. Now don't go crazy with the bubbles. <coughs> Excuse me, but I wanna see them, all right? Now can anybody remember what exactly, when we do a scientific drawing, what do you have to do to it? Hopefully you said, label it. Water, cup, raisins. All right, I don't have a raisin in there yet, but you know, this is what it's gonna look like. Now if something is happening, if something is moving or something like that, then you're gonna to wanna to draw arrows to show that movement so that I can see it and you wanna write it so that I know what you're talking about. Because we all know that not everybody's, not everybody's drawings are the best, okay? Now, when you get to this place uh, tomorrow when we do the lab, the last thing I want you to do 
is as a whole group, so like the four of us sitting at this table, we would do our Making Meaning Conference. And all that is, it says here, during the class discussion, which is going to be a group discussion with your own group, okay, you will want to take notes of information your classmates share. All notes for the Making Meaning Conference will go on the left side. So when you get, actually get in class, we're going to staple these into our notebooks. You're going to have this whole left side of the paper right here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your notes over there. So if someone sees something happening or they figure, you know, they ask a question or you guys discuss something, that's what I want you to write down on your paper. I want to make sure that you're talking, you're discussing. And then when everybody's doing that, then we'll move on and we'll do some claims and evidence. Don't do claims and evidence without me, okay? Not this time. We're going to do it together. That way you get the right thing written on the paper and then I'll let you have a couple on your own. Well, that's our lab on sewer lice. So I hope you guys walk in tomorrow and you're excited and you're ready to go. That way you got all this stuff done at home. We can walk right in and start the experiment and see what happens. All right, see you later.